Hi there, this is Catherine. Thanks you for listening to my SEO Tips micro podcast. So before we get into today's SEO tip, I just wanted to share with you the ways you can support the podcast if you're enjoying all the tips and finding them useful. So you can send me a donation at buymeacoffee.com slash Catherine W. Ong, O-N-G. And that's Catherine with a K. Any and all levels of donation are appreciated. It will help me offset the cost of producing the podcast. So that's buymeacoffee.com slash K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-W-O-N-G. I'd also encourage you to subscribe to our email list to make sure you're not missing any future episodes or any other news about the SEO Tips podcast. And to do that, you'd go to wostrategies.com slash newsletter. Okay, on with today's tip. Did you know that Google has depreciated the structured data testing tool? Hello, thanks for listening to SEO Tips today. So Google announced that the rich results testing tool now supports all of Google's rich features and is out of beta. That also means they're depreciating the structured data testing tool. And here's what this new out of beta tool lets you do. It shows the search result features that are available for the structured data markup you're testing. It handles JSON-LD loaded markup more effectively. It's going to show you the mobile and desktop. It matches up with Google Search Console reports, and you can run this tool on a site you don't own. Unfortunately, the structured data testing tool, the one that's being depreciated, validates all schemas, and the rich results tool does not. Also, the structured data testing tool allows users to test the schema code itself without having HTML page code or a URL. So let's hope that Google changes their mind about depreciating the tool. Uh, in the meantime, you might want to bookmark some other free schema.org validation tools like Classy Schema Structured Data Viewer, Bing's Webmaster Markup Validator, Yandex's Structured Data Validator. Thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for another SEO tip.